Welcome back to another episode of BTD Science. Today we find out who the real number one stunner actually is. The 2-3 Ninja or the 4-2 Cannon. Both are powerhouses in their own way. The 2-3 Ninja has two different attacks, the explosive shot as well as his regular shuriken, which definitely adds to the uh, intricacy of his actual popping power, where the cannons, the 4-2 Cannons, usually have a weakness to black and zebra blooms, but not anymore when you get them all the way up to the 4th tier upgrade. Now they can actually pop every single type of bloom. So we're going to test against the bloons, against the ceramics, and then all the way up to Moab class bloons and see how they fare. So far it looks like both are doing a fairly good job against any lower level bloons, but once we pop into the ceramic layer, the ninjas are definitely starting to struggle just a little bit quicker. The cannons are also letting bloons sneak through, but the ninjas letting them go just a little bit faster. The stunning ability of the ninjas is just not keeping up with the stunning power of the 4-2 cannons. Now you might be noticing that uh, there's a lot of frickin' balloons sneaking through on the ninja side. There is a few balloons do end up getting through the cannon side, at least it looks like a few balloons do end up getting through, but the ninjas just let a bunch of them fly right through. Uh, so at this point you're probably noticing there's three ninjas and there's only two cannons. I know a lot of people like to mention that, but we're doing this based on price. The, t the cost of a ninja is only 4400 the cost of a 4-2 cannon is all over 6750 That's why we're using two cannons and three ninjas. Now, testing against the mobs, this is something that I was just, that I was gonna, um, uh, I was thinking about it for a long time, and I didn't know how to test these guys out, because the ninjas have a shuriken. I feel like, oh man, they automatically have an advantage, right? Well, maybe not so much. Let's just keep checking this out. The ninjas still not popping the mobs. Both sides not being able to pop these guys pretty much at all. So getting all the way through to the very end, all the way through, sneaking through the bottom, and the ninjas will actually pop them up at the very last second. You can see it starts to do just a little bit of damage, but not really anything special. So what I decided to do was I decided to upgrade just a little bit. So now we're going to do six ninjas versus four cannons. And if you guys know anything about ratios or fractions, it's still an even battle right now based on cost. So now we've got five bubs coming out on both sides. Four two cannons finally going to pop these guys. Ninjas do the exact same thing, popping them in pretty much the exact same location, but the cannon's able to pop every single mob, while the ninjas just couldn't pop them in time, and they will end up killing all the balloons, but not at the same point of the cannons. Who ends up winning? I don't know, it's a pretty close battle overall against the mobs, but the balloons, the 4-2 cannons, are the kings. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you press the like button for me, I really appreciate that a bunch. The video should, uh, uh, be clear enough for you guys. Thanks for watching, and a super duper delicious day.